Well, I've changed my mind about my 96, you know, loaded caravan that I was going to put a diesel in. I took it all apart to see what it would need to fix it up to get it roadworthy, and it needs about $500 worth of parts plus several hours labor. So, I decide to buy a different van. Now, if anybody wants to buy this van, it works fine. It's a 3.8 liter, fully loaded, and you can have it for $500. Instead, I got this van for free. It's a 2002 caravan, loaded except for power seats, and it absolutely works, drives, and looks like brand new. I'm totally satisfied with it. So, goodbye to my 1990 diesel Voyager van with 470,000 kilometers. Hello, new van. Now this van's actually still working perfect. But I'm going to pull the drivetrain out of it because it's a diesel drivetrain converted to work in front wheel drive Chrysler vehicles. And if I can't find my more modern in the 2000 era range TDI 1.9 Jetta motor, well then I'll just have to put this one in there. But I did want the more powerful 1.9 version. I'm still looking. So if anybody knows where I can get a drivetrain from one of those 2000 and up Jettas, let me know. Well, my new van has a 3.3 motor absolutely sounds and runs and drives like brand new but the shame is since I'm so cheap I'm gonna pull it out anyways and put a diesel in it <laughs> now let me tell you how I got it for free here's the paperwork well there's my new ownership or title and there's the auction place I bought it from Well, it says I purchased it for $1,600. Well, actually, I'll, that's a funny story. I'll explain that in a second. This is how I bought it. In Canada, we have what's called Canadian Tire. It's a big box store, and it's a redneck department store in my, in, in my words. They sell everything from auto parts, tires, sporting goods, outdoor stuff, lawn and garden, tools, supplies, electronics, just everything a guy like me likes to use and other Canadian rednecks and their prices aren't that bad. So each one of these cards is worth $25 and I had 66 of them. Well 66 times $25 adds up to $1650. So actually Canadian Tire bought this van for me and I'll explain how that worked. Back in October when I was scrapping all those air conditioners and stuff like that and dehumidifiers for their cash value because I have too many and I was getting rid of all the old ones and trying to make room in my building I noticed an advertisement in our Canadian Tire flyer that we get in the mail. Canadian Tire was offering $25 for any air conditioner or dehumidifier you brought in and donated to the store so they could be properly disposed of so Canadian Tire would look green and people would come into the store and buy stuff. Well, deal was you, ha you got these cards, the $25 cards, and they can only be spent at Canadian Tire. But I didn't need all that stuff from Canadian Tire. I already have everything, so I had another plan how to get cash for those cards. Well, since in the wintertime I fix cars and I fix them for my customers and stuff, Every time I needed to buy parts for my customers' cars, I went to Canadian Tire and bought the parts. When they came and picked up their cars and paid for the repairs, they just gave me the cash that I spent on those parts, even though I bought them with those cards. So that's how I cashed them out for dollars to get my free van that Canadian Tire got for me. Cool. So, it has absolutely nothing wrong with it. It has 249,000 kilometers, although it drives absolutely like brand new. Driving this vehicle, hitting rough roads, bumps, the steering, it's just perfect. All four tires are brand new, the battery's brand new, the brakes are perfect. What more can you ask for? Even got the CD player. So I ended up cashing in 66 really shitty dehumidifiers that were more than 30 years old none had a bucket many were missing their fan motors and had no grills on them 
their scrap value would have been three to four dollars each once I took them all apart, cut the copper and aluminum out of them, sucked the Freon out and hauled them to the scrapyard. I would have made about hundred seventy five to hundred eighty dollars from what I took the Canadian tire and got sixteen hundred and fifty dollars for in cards. Right kitty? So the fate of this van is scrap. I'm just going to destroy it. Cool. Might use that on it. At the same auction I saw another vehicle going through that I never imagined ever owning or buying but it was just going so cheap and it worked fine. I just bid on it and I happened to get it. It's a 1996 international full-size school bus turbo diesel automatic and there's my ownership. Now I have to go pick that up on Monday. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with a bus but it could be fun. <laughs> Look forward to it. So let's hear this baby run. And cool, it has a tack. Couldn't run nicer. Sweet. <laughs> 